Hello, I'm Andy from Mighty Soldiers Trades. Today I'm going to be going over the TradeStation 10 platform. Uh, first, I'm going to let you know I'm not a registered investment advisor. Anything I say or show you in this video, uh, not to be misconstrued as investment advice. If you need that, go seek a professional who took the test to be called a professional. Um, everything in here is my opinion only. Uh, don't do as I say, don't do as I do. All right, that being said, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin the apps right here. And then the trade trade bar, I will uh, move that down to the bottom and take it straight to there. And you can either have it pinned or unpinned. And then resize that so it's not wasting space. Real estate is the name of the game. And then from there, get up some charts. Going to open up only one chart at first. And uh, from there, do all the work on that one chart. That way, we can just copy the one chart into as many charts as we need. And in this case, it's going to be four. My first two charts, I like them to be the 15 second. And as for the studies, uh, I'm going to put the uh, 200 day moving average. Um, right here, one line, and then I'm going to adjust that the inputs here, 200, and as far as alerts, I don't need any of that. What would I like that line to look like? I think I would like to have it look like that. Anyways, um, the color, I like my 200 day to be like dark red, like dried blood. Anyways, um, and then I add my other studies, two-line EMA, and those ones, again, the input, I want the 9, and I want the 20 EMA, and as far as the style, that's fine, the color, that's good, change that one like that. All right, now I can go ahead and copy this chart and now paste it. Um, paste another one. And here's another one. All right, I'm going to put these ones right about... Hmm. That should be good. Shrink them down a little bit. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways. All right, yeah. I'm not used to having these toolbars on here. I usually have them all hidden. Uh, the reason I'm not doing that is because I'd like to link these. These top two, I can make them blue. And as for the time frame on this chart, five minute, so I'll have two 15 second and two five minute charts. All right, and from there, again, let's make these ones green. That way these charts will be linked as well. And go back into apps and my favorite feature of TradeStation, uh, quick trade bar. We are going to need two of these, but first, let's resize it in there. I don't know what kind of real estate you have, but make them the sizes that are appropriate for you. I want the order status on there. And that's about it. Uh, we can go into order preferences right now. First thing I do is turn off all, con all confirmations. That's for me, personally. I don't recommend you do that if you need the safety. Uh, do what's best for you. Again, don't do as I say, don't do as I do. I just want to be able to get in and out of my trades as quick as possible. All right. And then the next thing I do is I change uh, duration, whether possibly ill-advised. 
uh, because you can no longer you can't use stop orders if you have it always on day plus and um, and then you know, enable short selling if you're going to be on margin that's always good to have all right and then another thing in preferences on your desktop and make sure that you have this box checked right here confirm when removing a window from workspace if you don't have that checked you might accidentally uh, remove windows i know trade station had some updates recently but i'm not sure if they had updated that so and then um let's see I usually hide all toolbars but for now i'm going to leave it only show active anyways that way I can uh, link my charts and link everything together easily. It's not easy to grab that thin <laughs> thin line up there. And then all that, the workspaces, uh, order entries, we just went there. And then again, for I want a custom session, 24 hour, I want it to be day plus at all times for me. I don't use stop orders. Um, and then there we go. That's all self-explanatory. And now from this one here, I'm going to copy the window and paste it again. Drag that one right next to the other one here. And this one I would like to be for my top charts and this one for my bottom charts. And the save space, you're definitely going to need some time in sales. And I'm thinking that the only thing we really need to do with time in sales, and we don't even really need to do it, is to adjust the um, adjust the colors to whatever you want, whatever I want. Obviously, resize these if I can grab a hold of that there, and then. Settings, I'll go to the columns, and I don't need uh, the condition, I don't need the exchange. That's about all I need, and I don't think I can. Okay, I can copy that window, so I'll paste that. And that one is set to green, so I'll put this one in my top charts here. All right, and next, I definitely one of the most most important things to have. Well, I might as well throw the uh, short locator in there. I believe I clicked that; it didn't come up. All right, again, trade stations being great. All right. Anyways, what I need now is a hot list. The hot list and trade station are great. Um, they automatically refresh. You can put it to view as many as you possibly can. You need the uh, top day gainers. And these ones, I don't really need much information except uh, the volume and, well, obviously what, what it is and the volume and the percentage. So I'll go in here and edit the columns, get rid of any of the columns that I don't need, and that change, open, I flow, close. Trades I might leave if I want to go over to it. All right. And that's all I need for that. And this, I'll link to my top charts. I believe I can copy this window. All right. That's good. So I'm going to copy this one, paste this window. 
I'm going to need a few of these. Somewhere in here, probably down at the bottom, some very small scans. I will have the gap up percentage. And then, actually, close that. Copy this window, paste it again. All right, I guess I gotta bring it over where I can see it. And gap down percentage. So really in the morning what I'm looking for is I wanna know what has gapped up, what has gapped down, and as you can see, all I have to do is click on it. Okay, I haven't linked these yet. These I will link to my bottom charts. And all you have to do is click it, and uh, whatever's popped up in the scan, there you go. And you're all good. All right, now again, we're going to copy this one. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to use it twice. We're going to have two of these, one for the bottom and one for the top again. This would probably be your most important because this is where the action is going to be. All right. And basically, that'll get you started.